Once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. That's by Ralph Waldo Emerson. When you know your life's purpose, it becomes easier to focus on where you're going, what matters most in your life, and what decisions are aligned with your goals. Knowing why it's important for you to begin a program to get in shape and stay in shape makes you committed and passionate about reaching your goals. Having a purpose will help you find and commit to your true passion. Now in the last episode, episode four, I covered the benefits of walking every day. In this episode, I'll follow up with helping you discover why. Later in the episode, find out how you can download the first two chapters of my Amazon bestseller, Walking for Health and Fitness, the easiest way to get in shape and stay in shape, and get a free copy of the audiobook to listen to after you listen to the Walking for Health and Fitness podcast. So here's a rundown of what we will cover in this episode. Where will you be one year from now? What motivates you? Where does motivation come from? How to use your walking time to focus on your why. You'll answer four questions to get to your why. Five benefits of knowing your why. And lastly, we'll cool down with a lesson from my walking logbook journal, and that is six ways inspirational quotes can change your life for the better. So I'll repeat the opening quote, and that ties in with the theme of this episode. Once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. So let's begin. Caution, the information contained in this podcast may cause you to feel better than you have ever felt in your entire life. Symptoms include a broader smile, happier disposition, brighter outlook on life, and a general feeling of bliss. Proceed with wild abandon. Hello, I'm Frank Ring, the author of the Amazon bestseller, Walking for Health and Fitness, the easiest way to get in shape and stay in shape. I discovered the healing power of walking after a severe back injury put me out of work for four months and literally left me on my back trying to relieve the pain and heal. Through my books, website, YouTube videos, walking programs, and now this podcast, it's my mission to help others achieve a healthy, balanced lifestyle one step at a time through walking. Join me each episode as I discuss the physical and emotional benefits of walking along with information about fitness, mindset, nutrition, wellness, and more. So join me each week as I encourage you to walk on. Where will you be one year from now? So to begin today's episode, let's turn back the clock to last New Year's Day. Now you might be saying, wait, Frank, you want me to go back in time and you're also asking me to look ahead a year. What's up with that? Well, it's simple. Back on January 1st, the calendar turns to the new year. And if you're like most people, you set a New Year's resolution to get in shape this year. You vowed to stick to it then. And three weeks later, you became disappointed with yourself because you forgot all about your resolution to get in your best physical condition. You might not have had a game plan, but more likely you didn't have a strong enough why to get you to take action. So together right now, let's get you off on the right foot so that the next 365 days will be your best year ever. Quote, we are what we think. All that we are arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make the world. End quote. And that's by the Buddha. So what motivates you? To get the most from your walking routine, you must know why you want to get into good health and fitness. So why do you listen to motivational speakers, read motivational quotes and books, and go to motivational seminars? Or do these people, literature, and events get you motivated? Can an expert speaker or this humble podcaster get you out of the house and walking for 30 minutes a day, even in the rain? Is there something about being motivated that you haven't tapped into yet? Motivation is defined as the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way. Now keep the word reason in mind. So where does motivation come from? Now, T. Harvecker is an author, motivational speaker, and wealth creator. He puts it simply. Now, in his seminars, he often repeats the same phrase, thoughts lead to feelings, feelings lead to actions, actions lead to results. Now, this got me thinking, is Harv motivating me with his words, or is the motivation already within me, since it's about my feelings and actions, which both come from within? So, what's your why? What is within you that gets you motivated? Now, this is the big question of this episode. Sometimes it's as clear as the nose on your face. Okay, The doctor says if you don't lose weight and get physically fit, your body will continue to break down. Heart disease and diabetes will begin to destroy your body. Now, 
That's an easy why to answer. Now, fortunately, most of us aren't forced into this diagnosis of impending death to snap us into thinking about what gets us moving towards health and fitness. Most of the time, we just want something in our lives to get us moving and feeling good about ourselves. So here's the dilemma. When you are asked, why are you walking? You might just be faced with the proverbial uh, chicken and the egg situation. What comes first? Is it knowing the reason to walk is, or is it, I'll get out and walk and my reason will appear. You might not know your why at this moment, but I'm here to tell you that walking will give you plenty of time to sort out this why do I walk question. So just do it. Get out on that walk, get into a groove, get lost in your thoughts, and very quickly you'll be asking yourself many of life's big questions and pondering the meaning of the opening quote in this podcast episode, which is once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. Now, here's the exciting part. You will quickly come up with the answers that you never thought were possible. But let's face it, if you aren't in shape right now, then most likely you haven't answered your why question. Now, let me give you an example. And here's my why. Several years ago in the fall of 2016, I answered my why I was walking the question. The previous fall, that's 2015, I began to experience a nagging pain that traveled down my left leg. I was a runner, and all the pounding on my body took its toll. I was in the middle of my virtual run around the United States, and I'll leave a link in the show notes so you can read about that. I tried stretching, I tried ice, I tried heat, anything that would help relieve the pain. Finally, in early January of 2016, I began physical therapy three times a week for nearly three months, and it only worsened the condition. Now, in hindsight, I didn't have a good PT group working on me. In fact, I felt like I was just an insurance card to this particular group. They gave me every test that they could except an MRI, which would have detected the severely herniated disc in my back. By the end of April, I was in so much pain, I went to an orthopedic doctor, and he diagnosed my disc issue in like 10 seconds. He gently moved my shoulders in such a way that it triggered the pain, and he said, you have a disc problem. Like, I was so stunned. I, I looked at him. I said, no, I don't. I said, my PT group has given me every test under the sun. They never mentioned disc. He glared at me in disbelief and said, I'm sending you for an MRI, and you'll see that I'm right. And he was. When your doctor oohs and ahs as he's looking at your MRI, you know it's serious. And uh, his treatment was very simple. Completely stop all activity, get into a pain management doctor, and heal your back. Ultimately, I needed to take four-month leave of absence from work, and I began a series of epidurals at the pain management clinic. Now, at the same time all this is happening, my mom was dying of pancreatic cancer, so my life was just a stressful mess. Now, in a future episode, I'll talk about the issues, uh, back issues, back pain, and stress, and the correlation there that's coming up later on this year. So by the fall of 2016, I was finally pain-free and now grieving the loss of my mom. So I started walking uh, just to get physically stronger and, um, and just emotionally get, get to a better place. And incredibly, with the thought of to begin running again. Then a funny thing happened, and it was a great thing. I began enjoying walking so much that I never ran again, and I have remained relatively pain-free ever since. Um, uh, it was really a, a crazy situation. I started looking back closely at my logbooks and realized how often I was hurt by running. And that's why I've stuck with walking ever since. So later in this fall of 2023, I plan to release a book about back hair and walking. So this was my why, and it was really easy to find, and it was very painful to find my why. So once my back was cleared up, um, my why changed to keeping pain-free and telling others about the benefits of walking. So let me help you find your why. Now, how do you use your walking time to focus on your why? For this next part, you will answer four questions that will help you focus clearly on why you want to be physically fit. The more you ponder these four questions, the more in focus your answers will be. This will ultimately lead to your why. So go out for a walk, get into a nice groove, then reflect on each question. Now, I use the notes app in my phone to dictate my answers. I find my mind is clearer when I'm walking. I found I do my best thinking and idea gathering while walking, as I mentioned in episode one, and in my mid-walk turnaround where I stop for coffee at a coffee shop with pen and paper and reading glasses. 
and I do what I call the mind dump. Uh, every idea I had during the walk is put down on paper. So you don't need to get that elaborate, but have the notes ha app handy because it will help you. Now, while I'm doing my walks, the random thoughts I dictate into the note app just helps me remember and preserve them in real time. So give this a try, and it may seem a little awkward at first as you get used to uh, talking and having the app transcribe your words as you're talking, but it's an amazing tool to utilize. So getting to your why. Reflect on and answer these four questions and get to your why. Question one, what happens if I don't walk? Write down all the consequences of not being in good shape. Now for me, it's the fear of back pain. Number two. What gives you pep in your step? So what is that one thing that when you do it, you lose all track of time? Now for me, it's writing and talking about the benefits of walking and physical fitness and health. Number three, what are your strengths? We all have strengths and skills. What do you possess that will help you continue walking and getting fit and staying in shape? And number four, what fires up your passion? Walking will give you more time to develop and expand on your passion. Now, give yourself time to think deeply about your why for using walking to stay fit. Now, for me, the answers came over a period of time. It didn't all come to me at once. But over time, I was able to sharpen my focus to what was really important to me. These answers became my why and what I do right now. Now in the program introduction, I mentioned my Amazon bestseller, Walking for Health and Fitness. Now in that book, I also write about finding your why. So I'll put a link in the show notes for you to download the first two chapters of that book, uh, just as a sample of what the book is about. Also, you'll find out how you can get bonus content, and that includes the audiobook version for free. You'll also get my Get Out the Door checklist and my Walking Inspirational Newsletter, uh, this is information I put out to my audience before my, it gets into my videos and websites. So and I release Walking Inspiration quarterly with the change of season. So I'll leave a link in the show notes. Check out the book. Check out the trial two chapters. See how you like it. So let's get to the importance of knowing your why. Knowing your why for getting and staying in shape is important for many reasons. Let me give you five. Number one, motivation. Knowing your why for working out provides a powerful source of motivation. When you have a clear understanding of why you want to exercise, whether it's to improve your health, increase your energy levels, or achieve a specific fitness goal, you'll be more likely to stay committed and consistent in your workout routine. This will get you off the couch and out the door. And number two, goal setting. Understanding your why helps you set meaningful and realistic goals. By knowing what you want to achieve through exercise, you can set specific targets that align with your why. This clarity enables you to create a plan and track your progress effectively, leading to a greater sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. Now, in the next episode of the Walking for Health and Fitness podcast, I will be discussing the importance of having goals. And number three, overcoming obstacles. Now, on the journey to fitness, you'll inevitably face challenges and obstacles. However, when you have a strong sense of purpose behind your workouts, it becomes easier to overcome these hurdles. Your why acts as a guiding light during tough times, reminding you of the importance of staying committed and pushing through setbacks. Number four, personal connections. Knowing your why allows you to form a personal connection with your fitness journey. It goes beyond simply going through the motions of exercise and taps into the deeper reasons that drive you. This, this emotional connection enhances your overall experience making workouts more enjoyable and meaningful. And number five, long-term sustainability. Building a sustainable fitness routine requires a strong foundation, and knowing your why provides exactly that. When your motivation is rooted in a genuine purpose, you're more likely to adopt a healthy lifestyle that extends beyond short-term goals. It becomes a lifelong commitment, ensuring that your fitness journey remains consistent and enjoyable in the long run, or in this case, the long walk. So before your next walk, put one or all four questions into your notes app, and as you're preparing to get out on the road, give a thought to what you want to get out of this particular walk. Re-listen to this podcast, then find your why. I'll leave links in the show notes to my video and blog post, 10 quick steps to take before your next walk. 
Now, this video will give you great information on making your next walk your best walk. And it was based on episode one of the Walking for Health and Fitness podcast. You can go back and check that out. Now, over your next several walks, ask yourself the why questions beforehand, type them into your notes app, and think on it as you walk. Napoleon Hill said it best, what the mind of a man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Now, more and more, everyone I speak to seems pressed for time, rushing from one activity to another, oftentimes too busy to get in a good workout. That's why I developed my fitness walking exercise program. You can do a complete workout in just 32 minutes while you walk. By combining my four core body weight exercises and walking, you'll burn more calories, tone your muscles, and get stronger. Just download the audio tracks to your smartphone and listen to my instructions and encouragement as I time the workout for you and direct you to perform the exercises. You'll hear me recite affirmations to keep you motivated and in your best fitness mindset. Now, a while back, I got a great email reply from a man named Robert Boggs who lives out in California. Robert was in his late 70s when he purchased the fitness walking exercise program. And he sent me this quote, let your body be your exercise machine. And that's a great quote by Robert. Thank you. So get in your best workout in the least amount of time. Check out the fitness walking exercise program and walk your way to a fitter, trimmer you. All right, and listen up, guys. I started wearing Up Underwear, and this is the walking product of the week. Up Underwear is all day, all play comfort. Up boxes are designed to stay up and keep you cool when you need it most. Now, check out their website to learn about their three big features. Discover the comfort and support of boxer briefs with a dugout pouch. The benefits of modal fabric for your under region. And they are unique and one of a kind, and that's their partnership with the Veil Camo for trendy boxer briefs. Now, up underwear are extremely comfortable. The up part of the name is appropriate. Uh, the material is soft. They don't bunch up when I'm walking or I'm just sitting and writing my podcast notes. They come shipped in the best packaging I've seen for underwear. And the packaging has the best tagline I've ever seen, and it's this. Quote, so your boys are ready for the game, end quote. Lastly, they look great. So I'll leave a link in the show notes. So check out the Up Underwear website and their products. You'll thank me. And in this episode's health and fitness website from my book, Walking Logbook Journal, it's available on Amazon, six ways inspirational quotes can change your life for the better. Now, number one, they lessen the impact of negative experiences. Reading inspirational quotes can put things in perspective. Number two, they give you a lift. My mom always used Robert Shuler's quote, tough times don't last, but tough people do. She said it so often that I thought she made it up. Uh, let's face it, everyone will face tough times, whether physical, emotional, financial, or whatever. For me, having this quote put the brakes on my negative emotions from spinning out of control. Number three, you're not alone. Inspirational quotes remind us that the thoughts we have are common experience felt throughout the ages. Your current emotional state has been felt, discussed, and written about by others. Number four, they're learning opportunities. There is nothing we can't learn from. Seek out quotes on various topics. Number five, they help keep you grounded. Inspirational quotes give a sense of the greater world around us. The thoughts and ideas of others gives us wealth beyond money and brings us back to what is important. And number six, they give perspective. Picking up from the previous point, inspirational quotes help us get over personal setbacks from illness, loss, or lack of confidence we experience from time to time. By making it a habit of reading and writing down your favorite quotes, you can mitigate those down times. So within this quote book, I have what's called the Words of Wisdom box where you can write in your own favorite quotes that you pick up along the way. So if you'd like a sample of the first three insights of the Walking Logbook Journal, click the link in the show notes for more information about the book and the bonus content that comes along with it. So let's end this episode with a quick recap. And the quote of the, uh, the overall quote of the episode is, once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. That's by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I'll leave a link in the show notes where you can download an image quote, that exact image quote. You can print it out, put it up on your wall. Uh, also, ask yourself, where will you be one year from now? Go through the four questions and answer the what's my why. 
Use your walking time to focus on your why. And we discovered five main points on the importance of knowing your why. And that was, it helps you with motivation, goal setting, overcoming obstacles, there's a personal connection and long-term sustainability. So check out the show notes for links to more Walking for Health and Fitness information. And don't forget to download the first two chapters of my Amazon bestseller, Walking for Health and Fitness, and see how you can get the audiobook version for free. So this is Frank from Walking for Health and Fitness. Have a great week and walk on. And please give the Walking for Health and Fitness podcast a review. The most helpful place for you to do that is on Apple Podcasts, which you can do even if you aren't using an iPhone. Just log into your iTunes account and leave the show a review. Now, this really helps more people find the show so that they can learn about the benefits of walking and so much more. If you'd like to share the show, you can take a screenshot of this episode you're listening to right now and share it out on your Instagram stories. And when you do, make sure you tag me at Walking for Health and Fitness so I can see you're listening. Sharing your stories is going to help more people find this podcast. Also, share on all your social media. I'll leave my social media links in the episode notes. This is Frank Ring from Walking for Health and Fitness. Thanks again and walk on.